a story of health and survival. Meet Justin Parmenter. He's a teacher at Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. Last November, he participated in the Charlotte Marathon. What he didn't know was that event would almost cost him his life. He suffered a stroke during the event. Thankfully, he was able to get help immediately. Tonight, he's sharing his story to alert others to what can happen, even to 50-year-olds healthy enough to run a marathon. Yeah, here in the U.S., one out of every six cardiovascular deaths was caused by a stroke. WBTV's Claire Kopsky sits down with the local teacher, still trying to sort through how he nearly became a statistic. <laughs> Justin Parmenter is no stranger to running. Uh, I ran in high school many, many years ago. In his late 40s, his son started running cross country. I didn't want him out running on the greenway alone. Um, so I started running with him just to support him. Mostly it's about, you know, having this new bond with my son. He liked being back to clocking miles so much, he agreed to run the Charlotte Marathon with his fellow Charlotte Mecklenburg teachers in a relay. Yeah, I was really excited about it. Justin was the first leg of his relay team on November 4th, set to run about five miles. You know, after I was done, I found my teammates, um, you know, the, the next runner got on the course and started, and the rest of us got in the car, drove to the next relay point. Finished with his leg of the race, he never expected what would happen next. And we were headed towards the, the third point, and I was driving the car when, the, when I had a stroke. He says he blacked out and had to be told what happened later. Apparently, I rolled through a stop sign with three police officers, you know, three police cars sitting there at the intersection, and the other people in the car looked at me kind of like, did you see that stop sign? <laughs> and that's when they realized I wasn't responding. Thankfully, he wasn't driving fast, and his teammates were able to pull the car over. But that was just the beginning for Justin. After recovering from that stroke, he had another one six weeks later. I mean, it was pretty scary. I, I had to kind of shift my mindset away from... Um, you know, my primary role in life is to be a teacher and to be a father. I really had to start focusing more on myself and taking care of myself. As his doctors tried to figure out what caused his strokes, tests detected a hole in his heart. In January, he had surgery to close that hole. But during surgery, his cardiologist couldn't find it. A stunning result that left him learning more about strokes. You know, 20% of strokes, they never can figure out the cause of it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been a challenge. Weeks later, living with a heart monitor in his chest, he's settling into that uncomfortable reality, hoping his story serves as a reminder that every day is a gift. I mean, you know, you, I think you can kind of get to a point where you take your health for granted, you know, and, and um, you know, I'm not feeling that way anymore. Justin is back in the classroom teaching and even running now and then while his doctors are still trying to figure out what the cause is to his strokes. He also wanted to share an acronym. CMS teachers teach its staff to detect strokes and respond to them. If you think someone might be having a stroke, here's the acronym for you. It's called FAST. F stands for face drooping. A is arm weakness. S is speech difficulty, and if those things are happening, then T is time to call 911. It's something that you never know when you might need to use. Claire Kopsky, uh, live tonight here in the studio. Uh, an incredible story. So glad he is on Absolutely. the map. Absolutely. Claire, thank you. Let's turn back to the forecast.